Well, praise God for the voices that he's given to us and the privilege to sing to his glory with those voices. But also now that he has given us minds to be able to respond to and receive and a heart that desires his word, we turn to Mark chapter 6. And we continue there, verses 33 and 34. I think I said to us last Lord's Day morning, those verses that we dealt with there, 30 to 32, uh, were somewhat of an introduction, or 33, uh, 32 as it were. And this, as I'll make mention in the sermon, is really a second introduction. But it is of very great significance because we often think of this passage, again, really only in terms of the feeding, that is, of the bread and the fish. There is to be found here a different feeding, which was primary for the Lord Jesus Christ, as we'll see it in the text, which ought to be of great encouragement to us here as well. So Mark chapter 6, and the verses 33 and 34. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Thus far, dear congregation, God's glorious and perfect word. But that's